Howdy y'all, Lone Star Roddy here. I'm here in Joaquin, Texas at the Flying G Vintage Motorcycle Museum. And I'm here with Luke Garrett and he's gonna tell you a little bit about the shop and how all this stuff uh, came around. So you guys stick around. Hey, I'm Luke Garrett, uh, Flying G Motorcycle Museum and Art. And, uh, the museum is a, a project, uh, it's a family project uh, that I have uh, the honor of kind of spearheading. But uh, I grew up in a motorcycle family. My, my father, Dennis Leggett, owned uh, the Yamaha dealership here in Joaquin from 76 to the mid 90s. Uh, Still works in the shop, kind of put within me the passion for vintage motorcycles and just all things two wheels. And so all of my adult life I've been collecting. Last year I had an opportunity to purchase this building that was formerly a hardware store uh, next door to my dad's shop and it just made the perfect location for a museum and a place to display uh, some of the collection uh, that I've acquired uh, uh, through the years. It's part of a bigger project. Uh, Joaquin is a small town, seven, eight hundred people uh, within the city limits. Yeah. Like most small towns in Texas, the downtown area is uh, it was tired, uh, run down and, and uh, unused. And so uh, part of uh, what our foundation has been able to accomplish in this last year is uh, we've restored five of the old buildings, uh, which today are being used for local business, local entrepreneurs. So we're real proud of that. And the museum is really just an extension of that. It was just an opportunity to bring more life into our small town and just a place uh, point of pride, if you will, for our local citizens. Not the museum itself, but just the idea that uh, there's life within our town. That's awesome, Luke. Uh, so all of these motorcycles here are yours? So they belong to my family. So some okay. uh, some I purchased, some my father purchased, uh, but uh, the G in Flying G originally um, was Garrett. My last name is Garrett, uh, but my son-in-law has a big part in this. Uh, uh, and so we, I think I just think about the G being grateful now instead of uh, Garrett. I just changed it to grateful because uh, certainly the Garretts are not the only one involved in the success of this. So I, I consider these our families. Well, great. And you know what? This is an absolutely gorgeous motorcycle museum. You can eat off the floor here, by the way. It, that, is, it is so so clean and beautiful. So you, you decided to add the art. I did. Museum. So the, the yeah. underlying um, uh, motive, if you will, behind the, the work of our nonprofit foundation is um, uh, to restore our town, uh, but to do so in a way that honors my parents, who obviously had such a huge impact on uh, my life and any success that I've had, uh, as well as the town. So it's kind of a leave it better than you found it mentality. But my mother, to your point, my mother is a retired art teacher, motorcycles and art. Uh, is uh, uh, was osmosis for me. That's how I grew up, learning to appreciate those things. So uh, the museum was an opportunity to just bring both of those into one place. So we've got some amazing sculptures here by local artists, some well-known, uh, nationally known, worldwide known artists on some of these paintings here. And just uh, some of them are really special to me. But art uh, is from my mother. Awesome. And you mentioned nonprofit. Um, so, what yeah. is that uh, kind of based on? So my family uh, formed a foundation that is an, a nonprofit foundation uh, that, that we have funded for the purpose of restoring our town, kind of that leave it better than you found it philosophy. So all of the buildings on the square uh, that we have uh, restored or are our, our, our in the process of restoring um, are owned by the foundation and then the foundation makes those available to young entrepreneurs, local entrepreneurs at very favorable rates. Um, what, what we want for our buildings on the square is, is we want local trade. And so uh, today, uh, one's an art studio where they do after school and homeschool art classes for children and also pop-up art classes for adults. There's an aesthetic spa, uh, there's a pizzeria, uh, there's a barber shop that's on the way, there is um, a ladies boutique, and, uh, and some other things in the works. And so these are all businesses that we chose uh, to work with these uh, young entrepreneurs uh, because what they were businesses that we thought that local people would 
trade with. And so that's the, that's the goal, is that uh, we'd kind of get back to a simpler time and not, uh, not take our hard-earned money and send it to the city. Let's keep it right here. Awesome. I think that's very commendable on that. that uh, there were more small towns should do that yeah. uh, to keep the, uh, the town around and the history. Also. That's right. Yeah, the buildings we restored are 100 year old buildings. Yeah. And so uh, we, we even reused uh, uh, some of the wood that we were able to salvage uh, in, in strategic places inside the, uh, inside the building. So. Well, very cool. So, how can people find this yep. museum right here? We're on Facebook, Flying G Motorcycle Museum. We are um, on Instagram, Flying G Moto Museum. And then uh, you can go to our website. It's not up yet, but it will be any day. That's flyinggmotomuseum.com. Very cool. And the address of this place here? 10552 U.S. Highway 84 East in Joaquin. That's spelled J-O-A-Q-U-I-N. I really do appreciate the, uh, the interview. We're going to put this out with the whole activities that are happening this weekend. If you get a chance, come on out, say hi. It'll be an awesome time. Catch you on the road here in Joaquin, Texas at the Flying G Motorcycle Vintage Museum.